and good rest. Uh, I'd like to talk a little about I2B project or yes the sustainability project it has two names um, so this is the second step uh, on my journey in this project first one was in Hallinglila eco village in Denmark th uh, three months ago um, and it yeah it was one of the most powerful experiences in my life for me so far uh, I met young people from all over Europe who share my ideas and enthusiasm for a sustainable, more sustainable lifestyle. Um, so it was a big empowerment and a motivation for me to explore Eco Village Network, um, yeah, and sustainable ideas more. So what I lacked a lot when I came back to Slovenia. Uh, after this exchange was some people to share these ideas with, to start creating with them. And um, this is sort of what I am getting now in the second step of this project uh, on this uh, farm, social company Veles uh, in Slovenia, where the second part of this project is taking place. So we're learning about sustainability on another scale, so it's not the actual Eco village. It's just one farm. Uh, the, the host family is a family of four who renovated this farm and is now using it for as a center for spreading sustainable ideas, to share knowledge, to host workshops, to host this youth exchange we're currently at. And uh, yeah, for me, for me, this is. Um, yeah, my next my next step on the on this journey. It's different. It's not the same thing all over again. Um, also, I'm meeting Slovenians who share my vision with this, so it's finally happening. Um, and my next step on my journey is uh, youth exchange in La Cave Eco Village in Spain this fall. And even further, I'm planning uh, eco, an Eco Village tour around Europe next year with some people in a van so I'm really looking forward to that to really immerse myself even even further I would recommend this experience highly to yeah visit eco villages meet more people get empowered well so my name is Shinki and I come from San Sebastian, the Basque Country, and actually I'm the youth leader of the Spain group. I'm Filippo, I come from northeast of Italy, and a youth leader of the Italian group. And in my case has been Clara, one of the coordinators, which has uh, invited me to come here to this international meeting, gathering. And and yes, uh, for me, yes, sustainability, it was like a very engageable title, no? which uh, I believe it's uh, one of the keys that we have to, to work like a collective, like a society in nowadays. So I really, when I knew that also we will be in a farm environment, in a project that really it's uh, developing sustainability experiences, I knew someone, but I also wanted to know more some these experiences, so I very fast I said yes. Yes, I also entered in contact with the RIVE, that is the Italian Eco Village Network, last year. And so it's a few times that I'm interested on these topics and I'm visiting projects, eco villages. So I also participated to another youth exchange in Denmark before this one. and. Uh, it's also, I felt the importance to come here, also it's close to Italy, so I'm interested to know different projects also close to my area. And so I was very happy to be here. Yes, and really has been very interesting how they have managed and coordinated the project because we, like youth leaders, they invite to us to come before the main gathering and to also co-create the structure and the... And the the gathering itself 
and I think that that APB has been like very key issue, no? Yes, we met here one month ago uh, for uh, three days, and uh, I think the Slovenian team already did a great job of programming the entire mm -hmm. schedule, but also there was there were a lot of things to do and the youth leaders from different countries had the possibility to contribute to the program and to bring uh, their experiences, their knowledge, their uh, what they wanted to share. So it was really a co-creative uh, process and it was a very nice thing also <coughs> for me that there was also a lot of space left for the participants, so many open spaces. Yes, and the days of the APV were very nice to get to know better the place, mm -hmm. so we could support also the people that came later. Yeah, it has been very nice also to speak then with the people that <coughs> the group that we we have to lead, and we can also communicate no, to the people. Wow, the place that we are going to go is a very special place. It's a very huge family, very strong. So, so it has helped. To, to create the little by little in an organic way the, the the experience I guess yes and also helping the hosting team because uh, we could also orientate ourselves better than the new participants mm -hmm. that come all together like 20 30 people so that's the role of the youth leader to be kind of uh, supportive and uh, reference figure also for the guys for the young uh, participants that are maybe are a bit younger mm -hmm. even if we were all together very well mixed connected. so connected yes mm. Mm. yeah it has been a very great interesting interesting um, experience no <coughs> as you see how it is the, the environment here it's like a typical slovenian farm um, but they are like improving and getting new knowledge uh, of how to create a, a, I don't know, how to manage our waste, how to uh, manage the water, how to uh, also use the natural energy, natural food. And wow, for us has been like enlightenment a little bit to to know, to believe, to, to see and to practice this. this. Yes, and it's very nice and gives a lot of hope. The fact that you see that they did everything by themselves, you know? mm -hmm. they bought the land, and you know, just just a strong message to say you can do it. And here you can f also for the fact that it's still work in progress, so you can really see uh, how much effort it requires, but mm -hmm. also how much satisfaction and how much beauty you can create, and how can humans can can be the ones who enhance the beautiness of a place, that they don't destroy the nature. They work together with the nature to create even more beautiful environments. And yeah, it's very, it's very interesting because it's really, it's not so difficult actually, because it's also how things were done mm -hmm. in a way. And it's also really a lot that, the, what, that you use the things that are in the environment, but you also give back because what we also give back, so everything, nothing is wasted here. Mm -hmm. Everything that is used is then given back to the nature and the process starts again and could be a synergy with, from, with, between humans and nature to grow together and to empower themselves together. <coughs> from that ecological point of view but also with a social point of view because here also we have worked a lot in group dynamics uh, how to live uh, in groups how to manage the decisions how to manage the feelings uh, how to connect each other and also I think it's a tool very important for create this uh, experience of sustainability and, and they also engage with that and I think that we enjoy it a lot no? Yes, General. everybody, and yeah, it's so surprising to see how in a few days you can create such deep connections that sometimes it's difficult to create in your normal life. And taking into account that we have been very diverse uh, collective, uh, there were Slovenian, there were Dutch, there were Spanish, Basque, Italian, <coughs> so it was like, uh, like pff, one small Europe here. 
and how you see you connect with the essence of the and with the real necessity of no yeah. it's a nice way for young Europeans to support each other also to feel more the community and to feel more uh, the simil similarities because actually there are more similarities than diversities mm -hmm. but everyone also keep its diversity and that that's a big enrichment for all the group because everybody mm -hmm. In a way, he's also, uh, everybody is Slovenian, everybody is Italian, everybody is Dutch, Spanish, Basque, so it's also very nice uh, how we keep our past, our geographical place, our tradition, our culture, but at the end we are also so very all the same and with the same expectation, with the same feelings, emotions and also for the fact that we are here with this topic, so we are also interested in the same development of the society, of the world, and of our life. Mm. So. Yeah, so the title of the gathering was From I to, to We, also. <clears throat> and that has, uh, like, uh, mm, I don't know, give us the perspective that we are uh, individuals, but we are also a Huawei community, working for the same aim. And I think from my point of view in this kind of project you really realize how important relations are. So how much we can heal ourselves and how much we can share and how much sharing is important for our well-being. So it's just uh, small, very small exercises to put people in contact and really nice things can grow from this really. It just, it just uh, not so difficult, really simple things can change the approach, can change the relationships, can mm -hmm. change the, the group dynamics. So, yeah, we, everybody's still learning, but uh, here we also learned a lot of interesting and powerful but simple tools to empower communities, to create communities, and to grow communities. Mm -hmm. And to also affect to the others no? because the neighborhood also have seen us working we have helped on, on also to the neighbors doing the staffs so i think that they also get yes. strange like wow people get european helping yeah so yeah i think for me it was really a nice experience mm -hmm. learned a lot but uh, you also keep uh, all these people in your heart and yeah all, to see each other again and to keep supporting us. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sara from Slovenia. And I'm Petra, also from, also from Slovenia. Uh, I really liked almost all the activities uh, in the youth exchange. I liked adventure games. Or we were just walking around and meeting local people. I really liked it. We also tried uh, some local food. Uh, one lady uh, prepared like a little lunch for us and we have had the opportunity to try um, homemade apple juice. It was very good. Um, also I liked um, a lot of activities that we, we, are, we were doing on the farm um, like open space. Um, it was a great opportunity to show what everyone knows and also how, uh, how to, teach, to teach this activity to some other person. So I learned a lot like how to make some necklaces, how to dance um, uh, the Basque polka uh, and some other stuff. Um, I also liked uh, the, the cultural, cultural evenings where everyone uh, prepared their own meal uh, like the meal from the Netherlands was very special to me because I haven't tried like the combination of apples and potato together so it was new I also like the Italian one because we had pizza and the Spanish one uh, we had tortillas and everything was very nice and we also have one Syrian dish which was also uh, special. special, yes, <laughs> like combination of potato, lemon, tomato. It was interesting, yeah. 
Yeah, I also really liked open space uh, because it was a great opportunity for participants to offer something interesting. I learned about uh, acro yoga and some other things like dragon dreaming and also intro in permaculture. That was really interesting. Uh, yeah, we work a lot on a farm, like in community work, uh, like uh, to. Uh, do stuff on the garden and uh, maybe something with the grass um, uh, and I really liked cultural dinner because it, uh, they uh, made uh, um, uh, international uh, uh, international <laughs> how to say um, something special and uh, uh, so we could try uh, uh, different uh, food uh, and so we also went swimming in uh, River Mirna. Uh, uh, the river was cold, uh, but it was really refreshing and we made uh, a lot of fun together there. So that was really nice. I'm Lars from the Netherlands. And I'm Manuel from Italy. And we just did an Erasmus Plus project funded by the Erasmus program from the EU in Slovenia uh, at the eco farm Zavod Veles and yeah and what uh, did you do in this project well we were here with um, five Slovenian young people uh, five from the Netherlands five from Italy and five from Spain and well we did all kinds of uh, sustainable uh, sustainable uh, activities basically. Um, Your favorite one, what would you name? My favorite one, well actually this morning we uh, we were working uh, with the grass that was just cut and well even though it's a very simple task uh, it really makes you connect back to nature which I think most of uh, <laughs> most people of our age are, are losing uh, by just you know being on their uh, cell the contact phones. with the soil <laughs> yeah the contact with with mother earth basically um yeah so that that's that's the first activity <laughs> that came to my mind but yeah we have been here for eight days and hmm. yeah doing interesting things like for example this evening there will be a cultural dinner from italy <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you can tell something more about that uh, about the pizzas <laughs> mm. How are they made? Um, well, why is it sustainable? It is, um, actually, this has been the first time uh, that we can make uh, the dog for pizzas starting from the wall grain, which is um, yeah, quite an experience for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, li I like to cook. In, uh, during this project, uh, most of the time has been uh, in, the, in the kitchen, which is totally good for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, at home uh, I was not used uh, to uh, harvest uh, things uh, uh, from the field, uh, bring it back to the kitchen and start. I was used to have um, canned peas, canned beans, uh, canned potatoes and then, yeah. okay, I can also do good from things. The supermarket. But, but, yeah. but yes, I was missing uh, half of the, of the job, you know. Yeah. This time, uh, instead, uh, we are going to make pizzas uh, starting from uh, the whole grain. With the sauce cooked on the fire, and um, well, uh, now I have the feeling that I have the, um, the awareness of the wall path yeah. from uh, the field uh, to uh, the table. Yeah. It is uh, quite a good uh, experience yeah. to have consciousness of what, what you are actually eating. It is a question that uh, we make to everyone. And did you, back yeah, home. did you also do the gardening part before? Like, did you uh, take your own tomatoes and did you water the tomatoes? Uh, uh, watering the tomatoes, yeah, a couple mm -hmm. of times with uh, the um, water left uh, from the washing dishes, which is uh, another uh, topic. Yeah, that's really mm -hmm. sustainable, yeah. right? We don't uh, waste anything, no. No. Neither the dirty water uh, on the dishes. Yeah. So c could you explain a bit more how we wash our dishes for it is a uh, I think we can call it a, a dry cleaning okay with um, 
uh, grain dust, leftovers yeah. from uh, the harvesting of the uh, mice. Yeah. And we just have uh, this powder. Mm -hmm. We have the dirty plate. You put the powder inside. The powder drinks uh, the, um, the things that is left in the plate, and mm -hmm. when you remove it, it is basically cleaned 90%. You just have to rinse for five seconds, but. Uh, Mm -hmm. You're not wasting a liter and liter of water uh, from each cleaning. Yeah. Plus, the leftovers is actually food. Food for the pig, yes. For the pig. <laughs> for <laughs> pipas. <laughs> for pipa is the name of the, of the pig. <laughs> and yeah, that makes the circle round again, right? <laughs> Pretty it much. Is. Hello, my name is Petra. I'm living here in seven years on farm Veles. We bought it yeah, with Janus. It was a family project and then it became much more. Also with this youth exchange uh, from I to We for 24 people, international youth exchange. Usually people ask me why I do this is because I believe in changes and that also it's possible to find a way in a system that supports these kind of uh, changes. And I found my way in Erasmus Plus projects, in Youth Exchange project. And it's incredible that a little farm can host such a big project like this is. This project was created for people first to feel good, to feel safe, to feel like at home. But that was not all. It was much more. It was also yes to sustainability, which means that they know what, how we can live a sustainable way of life. It can be with um, water uh, saving, with uh, dry toilets, don't forget the social permaculture, gardening. It, it, it should be the whole circle of it. And they could slowly step on this circle and find a way through it. And also that they don't forget about themselves. This is important. To develop their skills, um, to empower them later in their life. So that they can go with a new motivation which is really important for young people to have, um, to create some projects, um, to create new connections, to create new friendships, um, actually to get self-confidence that they can do something, something useful for the community. Um, I feel it really strong in these 10 days, as the project is uh, during these 10 days, that people stayed here and said that uh, this is their home. The, they realized that the way of living can be also a way of sustainable way of life. Um, but maybe the most sentence that touched me, it was from uh, a migrant that said that 10 days of this program were more powerful than seven years of the war in Syria where he was living. That's why we are doing this. To change all the bad feelings into good feelings.